Today I'm gonna show you how to replace siding. We got some rotted siding here on the ends and stuff. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come back here and measure off. I don't wanna put the joints on top of each other and I wanna pay attention to where the nails are. So what I do is I just take a square and strike a line where I wanna cut my pieces off. So I'm gonna cut this all, all the way down to there. This one all the way down to here. This one from this line back and this one from that line back. So what I do is I just look where the nails are and I put a line where I want to cut them off at and stuff, right? There's two different kinds of ways to take pieces of siding off. First of all, I'm going to cut the lines with my little vibrating tool, but you can use a handsaw, a sawzall, anything that you can find that can cut a straight line. pieces you can just rip them off thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hammer and just drive any nails in that I see that's sticking that. Now, All right, now we're gonna take this piece off, but we don't wanna mess the piece up above us. There's two ways to do that. One way I can do is I can take a nail punch, a punch that you might not have, and I can drive the nails in on the piece of side and above it. Just like that. But then I gotta fill the hole with some caulk. Another way to do it, so take a five in one tool, go up underneath of it. And that'll break the nail. Alright. 
this. Clean up this edge right here. Now. Now the next thing you do is take a measurement. I usually write them all down on the board and I've already done it, but you're gonna measure the distance of how each one of your pieces is siding is. Now we're gonna come over here and cut some siding. first piece. Next measurement is 58 and an eight. Next piece is 42 and 3 eighths. The simple bevel cedar siding. The third piece. This one is 57 and 5 eighths. You may not have a miter saw, so you can cut it with a scale saw, a jig saw, a saw saw, or a damn hand saw. Cut it with whatever the fuck you got. If you're gonna cut it with something other than a miter saw, you need to make a mark where your measurement's gonna be and take a square, get a nice square line and cut it so the piece of siding will fit. on my piece of side, get it up nice and even with the piece of side. So you line it up on both sides. Come right here in the joint where you know where there's a nail, and I'll tell you where you're going to nail it at. next piece.
Since I'm in a joint, I'm gonna kinda angle it a little bit so I can make sure I catch a stud. Again, angle it. Last piece. go on a piece of siding up above this and nail that down right through that hole since I punched this hole I'm gonna put two nails to fill the hole Come over here to the end pieces. Go nail that down. That's it. You don't ever want to put two joints one on top of each other. I can't caulk it because it's wet right now because it's been raining. But when it dries off, we'll come back and I'll caulk along this corner right here. And when that's done, then we can put our stain on it. That's how you do siding. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and you can watch some more informative how-to videos. Good day.